What is going on everybody? Today I've got some exciting news. So stick on around and we're gonna get into it in just a couple minutes. So the exciting news that I have today, first and foremost, a huge thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for... Okay, I didn't leave anything over there. Over here, we're good. Let's get on going. <laughs> All right, what's going on, everybody? So the exciting news that I have today is that I can't film my 100 subscribers video. And the reason for that is because before I had enough time to go out and film my 100 subscribers video, my channel hit 200 subscribers. <laughs> So, a big thank you to everyone. I really do appreciate all you guys who've been watching. I appreciate those who subscribed. It means a ton to me. It's crazy that, you know, just a few months after starting this moto vlog, I would have 200 subscribers. That's awesome. I've had a couple videos that have been doing pretty well, and that just really excites me a ton. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the content, but yeah, holy crap, 200 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. So today I just wanted to take some time and, uh, you know, just do a channel update, discuss things, and see where we go, see what we get into. I don't have a ton of time because my GoPro battery is pretty low, and I need to head on back home to work because, you know, it's the middle of the day, 4.30 on the clock here, but it's actually 3.30 because I haven't changed the, cl the clock on my bike yet for daylight savings. I don't know. I like to live life on the edge like that. That's just the kind of person I am. Saw dude. Really excited that the channel has made it to 200 before the end of the year. I set a goal for 150 subscribers by next summer. And uh, yeah, we, we passed that goal. So that was just a little internal goal for me. Something that was, you know, I kind of put in place to just kind of say, hey, if uh, you're not at 150 by next summer, which would be over a year of posting videos, maybe you don't need to take this channel as seriously as you have been. But no, that didn't need to happen. That conversation is gone. It is not possible. And we've only got up to go from here. So getting to 200, it is middle of November, end of November actually. And uh, yeah, getting to 200 is a really cool milestone. You know, that's 20% of the subscribers needed to be monetized and if I can get monetized that would just mean so much to the channel and to me you know it, it's definitely if I if the channel ever does get monetized definitely gonna be really cool definitely gonna be something that gives me a small uh, cash flow stream to invest directly into the channel that's my plan if the channel ever does get monetized and I do make money from moto vlogging my plan is to invest the majority of that money back into the channel to make better content for you guys. Oh, saw dude. And, you know, to upgrade the motorcycles, maybe do different bikes, all that kind of good stuff. So we're on our way to that and I'm nothing but extremely excited. Plans for the channel? Well, Currently, the plan is is just to keep on rolling from my perspective. You know, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what kind of moto vlogger I want to be, right? What what kind of channel I want this channel to be. And I, uh, I've spent almost all, I spent a big part of the summer this year doing tons of rides, riding with some good friends, and put in a lot of time and gotten a lot of content. So the bottleneck definitely is not filming at this point. I know I've talked about it previously on the channel. <laughs> I thought that was a cop for a second. I was like, oh, shit. I mean, I'm not going over the speed limit, but I took off there pretty quick. And I definitely had to let up on the throttle. So, the bottleneck is definitely not the filming of the content, but more the editing and posting of the content. It's definitely, you know, something where the immediate future, you know, the three to six month future is probably going to just be me grinding more. You know, it's cold. We got the colder months right now, so 
there is going to be a limit on what I can do over the next couple of months. And then on top of that, I don't think I have a stop here, do I? The day job that I do is going to be getting busy starting mid-February. So mid-February to about June, or about May, I should say, uh, I, you know, my day job gets extra busy. I got a lot of work I got to do. Got a lot of work I got to get through. Overtime, all that fun stuff or not fun stuff. So that's definitely gonna be holding me down just a little bit. My goal is to try to start building up a little bit of a backlog. <laughs> I know I've, I've talked about this on the channel before too, but my goal is to build up a backlog and be able to post a couple videos during the year, you know, during the busy time at work and not you know, at least be able to post one video a week. You know, partway through that time, I may have to stop posting because I don't have enough time to edit, but we'll see how things go, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. So that's the near future, working through the videos I already have posted. When I get a chance to go out on like decent days like this, it is 52 degrees, end of November, so it's really cold out, but you know, it's nice and clear. The sun is out, so when the sun is out, you know, I mean, you, you stay pretty warm, right? <laughs> or at least I feel like I do. And, you know, I've got some extra gear. Got the heated gloves, which I haven't had to turn on yet, which has been nice. Got some socks and some thermal underwear, which is actually working really well. So all those are going to be linked down in the description. And I'll probably have to do a heated gear review in the future because I'm pretty happy. Like, this is the first time wearing these this thermal long underwear, and it's working really, really, really well. So I'm really happy with it, excited to share that with you guys. Longer term goals for the channel, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, I'm still kind of in the channel finding phase. You know, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what kind of moto vlogger I'm gonna be and what I want this channel to be. And part of that is just gonna be figured out along the way. But, you know, I, I definitely do wanna add another bike to the channel at some point. I don't know if that's gonna be next riding season i don't know if it's going to be when the channel gets monetized and i have the ability to take on an, a bike payment or when that'll be but it's definitely been a goal of mine to add a second motorcycle to the channel and i want you guys to leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of bike you'd like to see on the channel would you like to see you don't even have to say the specific bike if you don't know saw dude you can just say the type of bike if you have a specific bike in mind let me know but yeah, do you want to see another cruiser? Do you want to see a sport bike? I don't know if I'll do a sport bike or not, but definitely been thinking about adventure bikes and naked sport bikes, cruisers, dual sport, all kinds of things. So like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of motorcycle you'd like to see on the channel. The other thing I've been thinking about long term is, you know, what do I want to do for people who want to support the channel a little bit more? I, uh, I threw a poll out there recently, a couple weeks ago, and talked about what do you want to see Evergreen Motor Vlogs do that allows people to support the channel in different ways. So we've always got, you know, the tried and true. What a lot of people like to do is Patreon. And I'm not opposed to that idea. I think it'd be kind of fun to do some kind of like motorcycle podcast, you know, it's quick couple minute podcasts that could be for Patreon members only you know, that you guys get some additional content, that kind of thing. And then just offer some different things, or you know, some different options or, or benefits to people who want to have more or get more out of the channel. I've also thought about merchandise, doing some kind of cool t-shirts and hats, stickers, posters, all that kind of fun stuff. And then just like, uh, you know, more ways I can interact with you guys. So like I said, I think I've got a lot of, I got a lot of ideas, you know, I could do like some kind of discord server or live streaming on some kind of regular basis or you know maybe patreon members only live streaming so i'm hesitant to release to do a patreon before the channel is ready you know i don't want to do it you know have a patreon out there and not have anybody subscribing to it <laughs> leave a comment down below let me know what you would like to see in the future and if you have any preferences, what kind of options you'd like to see, what you would think would be a benefit to the channel, and what you think would be a benefit to you guys, the subscribers. Because like I said, 
I would be able to do this without you guys. And <laughs> if I were to do some kind of extra way, you know, provide an extra way for people to support the channel, I 100% would be open to suggestions and would want something that you guys would feel like you're getting a good benefit from and that you could feel like you're, you know, benefiting the channel. At least right now, you know, uh, <laughs> I have a full-time job, have a good career, decent pay, and so I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and be worried about making money on the channel and paying myself. My plan is to take the majority of the money I make from the channel to invest back into the channel. And when I say the majority, I mean basically everything. That's my goal. Whatever the channel makes, I just wanna invest directly back into the channel and make better content for you guys. Make stuff that, that you guys can enjoy. Get the chance to do fun, interesting things that I maybe wouldn't be able to if I wasn't monetized or, you know, didn't have the ability to, you know, invest more into the channel. So. Anyway, I just I feel like I kind of wanted to get that out a little bit, get that off my chest. I don't know. I have no idea when the GoPro uh, battery is going to die. I do have the Enduro battery, and I filmed a whole other video on, on this um, ride today. So I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting out of it. I filmed for about an hour, and I'm getting this video as well. So Enduro battery review coming soon. Stay tuned. But yeah, I feel like I just wanted to get that off my chest and get that out there that, you know, my goal isn't to just make as much money as possible and send you, you know, give you guys cheap content, you know, take the money and run. Any money I make from the Moto Vlog, I 100% plan to use it to reinvest directly back into the channel and make better content. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens. But like I said, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, let me know what your preferences are, what your thoughts are. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of brainstorming when it comes to growing the channel. Because yeah, this is the channel update. This is first and foremost a huge thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe and to watch the videos. I 100% totally appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you everyone so much for subscribing and for supporting the channel. Saw dude. Figured I would kind of also do a channel update. Things are going good. Kind of been trying to do two videos a week and been semi-successful with that. But I think I need to start building up a little video backlog. Go ahead and expect that kind of stuff. I've got all kinds of content you know i got just random moto news random moto vlogs and musings i've got you know install videos and reviews and fun rides i got a, i got some cool group rides one of the cool things is i have a couple of good buddies who i've been doing some riding with and i've been able to run a second audio source into my gopro and so i can pick up their audio so now when i'm doing group rides i can essentially you know show you guys what it's like when i'm going out and talking with my friends which is one of my most favorite things to do you know go out talk with friends have a good time riding and you know just enjoy enjoy my time so if you're excited to share those videos with you guys as well channel's doing good i'm doing good i'm in high spirits like i said these last couple months have been awesome seeing the growth you know i went from like zero to 50 took like six months and then 50 to 200 took like a month and a half. I don't know where the channel is going to be in the next couple of months. My hope is that it continues to grow. If it can grow at this pace, that would be awesome. That would be really cool to see. But I don't know. If it doesn't, if things slow down because the holidays and all that kind of stuff, I'm not going to slow down. I'm going to have to set a new goal for myself <laughs> for next year. So we'll see how that goes. And I, I'll probably do an end of year video as well. Not exactly sure yet what that would look like especially here in the pacific northwest with how cold and rainy it is but leave a comment down below let me know one what options you want to see out there in the future for uh, ways to support the channel and then also leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of content you guys want to see and like i said what kind of motors you know what, what type of motorcycle you see on the, in the future my plan is you know i've got a list of motorcycles that i plan on doing some test rides on so i'll take you all along with me for those test rides all right, gonna go ahead and film a pre-outro, just in case the GoPro battery dies. Thank you all for hanging on out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there, but go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the channel growing and where you would like to see it in the future. Definitely appreciate everyone who subscribed to the channel, and I appreciate your thoughts down below 
on where you want to see the channel go. Go ahead, like the video, leave a comment, and if you've not already had a chance, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I've got tons of Honda Rebel content both on the channel and headed your way, so smash that notification bell for future uploads and or live streams. This is the Evergreen Motor Vlog channel, reminding y'all to ride safe out there, mind your surroundings, especially when they look this amazing, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!